I've had a garden for many years, but today I'm going to show you how to hook up an inexpensive soaker hose attachment to the five raised beds. My sons uh, helped me assemble these raised beds over Thanksgiving, and we had a great time doing that. And the bricks that you see came from my son John's house when we were preparing his backyard. Everywhere we dug, there were buried bricks. And I had enough old bricks to make little walkways. But what I didn't have was a convenient way to water the garden. And you can see I've just put in uh, onions, some spinach, cilantro is up, radishes are up. But I needed a convenient way to water. And in the past, this garden area was watered. I had a faucet put on my irrigation system and just used a water hose and watered the, the garden with that hose. But I wanted a more convenient system and so I spent a little time at Home Depot in the Rainbird irrigation area and looked at different ways that I could hook up the system and make it a little bit more convenient. So it started with an 18 inch riser right here. And that's $2. And then hooked on to an elbow that screws on and then has a nipple that goes into the funny pipe right there. On the top of the riser, there's another elbow with connector to the funny pipe. Another elbow, but the connector this time is to a half inch uh, converter. And this converter goes from a half inch to three quarter inch where it screws into the female end of the soaker hose. And I'll have to bury the soaker hose. I just took a drill and drilled two holes in the aluminum raised bed, an upper and lower one, and then cinched it down with some uh, tie down straps that I had in the garage. Now this funny pipe is connected to the next riser, exactly the same system, the riser, strap down and then the elbow with a short piece of funny pipe connected to a T connector. The T connector connects that riser to the central riser which I'm going to show you now. This central riser has the same setup exactly pipe, the funny pipe, and I put in another T connector to a short piece of funny pipe, another elbow, and then the elbow is connected to a converter from a half inch to a three quarter inch female connector that connects right to a piece of old water hose that I had. This piece right here was about $4. This uh, old PVC pipe I just had laying around in the garage and I just put that in to protect the, the water hose in case I wanted to dig or plant something in this area. I cut off the old piece and for another $4 and a half bought this uh, female hose connector at, at Home Depot. Now, fortunately, my sister-in-law had given me this controller from Yardine. I don't know how much it cost, but it has two outlets. 
One I'm going to connect to my irrigation system. And the other I'm going to connect to my accessory hose in case I need to do some spot watering. This has a battery underneath and then controllers that go from one hour frequency to three days up to a week, how long you want to run it, and the same thing on these controllers. So this is just connected to my uh, system. So now, not counting this controller, which I don't know how much it cost, my old hose, I then also at Home Depot bought this 100 feet soaker pro system from Element. It had 100 feet of soaker hose. It had all the end cap, male ends, and female ends. I punched out all the little reducers as they advised on each set up and I just put one in line right here so there's a reducer here that will reduce the flow that will go to all systems two down there the central one here and two more down here so for less than a hundred dollars I've got a simple system where I can have a soaker hose assembly for all five of these raised beds, and I look forward to using it this year.